All right, so why don't we jump into the uh, Core i9 processor. The, the Core i9 10900K. Solid. So, you know, this will help because it will extend the video times of any reviews that anyone does about this. Am I really gonna have to, uh, am I really gonna have to say this out loud? This was posted on the forum by Olympic Ass Eater. <laughs> um, the original article is from techpowerup.com. <laughs> Intel is expected to refresh its mainstream desktop platform with more 14 nanometer. Hooray. Wanna, wanna do the 14 nanometer dance? Yeah. Woo! 14 nanometer! Woo! <laughs> um, we should you, throw them a party for yeah, like 14 nanometer for the party. for their age and it's like how long they've been on that process. Yeah, it's like third, fourth birthday or whatever. <laughs> yeah. uh, core i3, four core, eight thread. Wow, core i3s are gonna be four core, eight thread. So within one process node, Intel is gonna go from selling four core, eight threads as top tier to bargain basement. Um, core i5s will be six core 12 thread. Wow, i5s are getting hyper threading. i7s will be eight core 16 thread and the i9-10900K, 10 core 20 thread. We're also gonna get a new socket. So we're doing away with 11.5 something. We get okay. 1200 full pins now. Just flat, 12 And a flat. 400 series chipset series, sorry, <clears throat> a series of 400 something chipsets led by the Z490 Express at the top. It's been a while since they've called a chipset something express. Yes. I feel like that was like, when's the Long last time, time Intel had an express chipset? Not like 775, 478 days? Intel Express. G41? Yeah, like QS67 express chipset. Okay, so not quite as old as I thought it was. Huh, that is like super, super weird branding for them to bring up again for no apparent reason. Yep. <laughs> um, so I was trying to figure out why they might have done it. I have no idea. So it's got 49 more pins. Uh, we're expecting improved power delivery and support for future incremental I.O. features. Uh, the pin one position remains the same, but it has shifted the socket keying to the left. Previously, it was right, making Comet Lake processor incompatible both electrically and mechanically with previous sockets. We expected that. Uh, generally speaking, Intel does one launch with a new platform and then one refresh, and that's it. Um, platform maps of these PCI Express Gen 3 based chipsets make them look largely similar to the current 300 series platform with a few changes. So they've added C10 and S. S0iX modern standby power states, which give your PC an iPad-like availability while sipping minimal power. That's pretty sweet. Sweets. Uh, slightly different from Smart Connect is that your web-connected apps and processor work at extremely low power, like a fanless state, rather than waking your machine from time to time for the apps to refresh. They have updated the networking interfaces, adding support for two and a half gigabit um, wired cool. LAN. So that's pretty sick. Yep. And built-in Wi-Fi 6. That's pretty nice, too. And the underlying architecture is uh, basically identical in terms of design to Skylake circa 2015. Oof. Um, the platform also mentions an interesting specification, enhanced core and memory overclocking. Maybe this could be the secret ingredient that makes the i9-10900K competitive with the likes <laughs> of the Ryzen 9 3900X. Unfortunately, by that time, AMD will supposedly have launched News and processors. <laughs> this is just wild. I don't know. I, I would actually, I don't necessarily think you should actually do it. I've been out of the content space for a long time. But I would love to see a mock video of like a birthday party for Intel. And just going over the like, uh, if, you, if you went over like, you know those birthday parties that are more for the parents? And you go over like, you learn to walk and just have it like go through all the stages. <laughs> First you said you didn't have any cores, then you added more, then you added more again, then you added more, you We're sneaky- We're so proud of you. Yeah, turns out you could do it after all, couldn't you? Oh, jeez. 